astonishingly, a reversal of point of origin is occurring within my nature. Up to now, I've been used to living mostly in my physical earth body and spacing out from time to time. But now I'm spending more, most time in the other worlds with goddess earthy than I am down on earth. Uh, I'm in my light body most of the time. Well, my animal body rests on automatic pilot in the attic, you know, surrounded by rusted out prayer wheels and tonkas, cobwebbed up. Mm -hmm. The only thing on earth I listen for anymore is when the Tibetan cook hits the dinner gong. That's the only thing I respond to. Because my earth body needs nourishment to operate my marvelous light body. Mm -hmm. So all my various bodies agree that it's sensible to eat some flatbread and have some yak butter tea from time to time. Then straight back to my sleeping place and up through the roof of my skull, the roof of the temple, over the Himalayas, and to where Earthy hangs out in the Nirvanic meadow with the brilliant aqua blue water in the grass. So green. Ooh. You might think of this situation as commuting yeah. between worlds. Mm -hmm. But my returns to Earth become less and less frequent and shorter and shorter in duration, mainly just to have uh, some food. And then I hurriedly commute back to the other world where I'm living almost full time. Uh, well, you see, another analogy might be, at first I have my own pad, a groovy bachelor pad, but I encounter this amazing female creature, goddess of it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I start sleeping over at her place more and more, just going home to eat once in a while. Look, the essential world headquarters of my consciousness, my essential reality is no longer operating from Earth to the point that Earth seems more and more like a, what's this Earth body for? High maintenance? somewhat irritating and mildly irrelevant dream. Now I got it. Mm -hmm. Flipped out yogis and yoginis seek out hidden, inaccessible snow caves. Why? So they never have to come down. Mm-hmm.